I'm so happy that you're here uh, to make art with me today. And we are going to make a multimedia collage creation using really fancy, cool papers. So these papers, we made them in a different tutorials and you can go back and see and find them. Um, so one is called Marble Paper, which this one is an example of one that we did last time. And it's uh, made with liquid watercolors and shaving cream. And it's super fun if you haven't done it. And then the other one is Painted Paper. So Painted Paper is made with tempera paint or acrylic paint, layering uh, two colors, and then basically scratching the surface to create texture. So we will be using these two in our multimedia project today. And the marble paper will be the background, which is this one. The painted paper will be a wave that we will be creating. And then we're also going to need extra just blank paper to uh, draw a, a sailboat or maybe a mermaid, it's, it will be your choice, to add into the collage. And then if you have any other papers at home, you can add maybe a sun or birds. You can even add fabric if you wanted. Um, so I want you to look through your scraps, whatever you have at home. Now, if you did not make the painted paper and the marble paper, again, you can go back and make them and then come back when you've done or use whatever you have at home. We will also need some a pencil, eraser, a sharpie for uh, when we draw the sailboat and also we will color it and paint it with watercolors and oil pastels and of course we will need some scissors and a glue stick to glue everything together so let's get started So we're going to start our project with working with our painted paper and our marble paper. So again, this will be the background. Imagine that it's going to be sky. So I'm going to actually turn it the way I want it to be. I want to use this part here for the sky. This part here will be covered with the wave. So this piece of paper will be cut because I want to use two waves overlapping. So what I'm going to do is fold it in half like this and then I'm going to just cut half of it where's the scissor it doesn't have to be perfect it's just so that we can cut use them separately so I have now two pieces of painted paper so I'm going to put one here and actually I'm going to turn it so that I can draw on the back. And I'm going to draw, you know, the nice, a nice kind of a wave. So this is a curved line, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut it out with my scissors. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as you cut. And then I'm going to put it on my background. So this is what it looks like right now. And if maybe I think it's a little bit too high, I'm going to cut it down, make it a little bit shorter. And any extra pieces of painted paper, I always like to keep them. And again, it's like this. So I'm going to play around and I'm going to do the same thing with the other one so I can put it behind. So I now have two really cool waves, one on the top and one on the bottom. So I'm going to take my glue stick and add some glue generously so you want to really add a lot of glue especially on the edges so that it doesn't stick up and when you're gluing painted paper 
to paper, it, you need a lot of glue. So I'm going to put this one here. And if it's sticking up a little bit on the, on the bottom, don't worry, we can trim that a little bit later. And again, I'm gonna put this one here on top. Is going to be my ocean. Here we go. Again, with a lot of glue. You can even use a uh, white glue instead if you want it. So here is my wave, my sky, and now what I want to do is go ahead and start either a mermaid or a sailboat. So here's an example of a sailboat that I could put and I will stick it when it's done after we paint it then we will incorporate it into the background. So for instance right here it's still a little bit wet and that's okay. We will be able to glide it in here or a, a mermaid that comes out. For instance here's an example of a mermaid that we can put into our painting. So we're going to start with our sailboat and we're going to do it on a regular piece of paper. So I have my paper right here and I'm going to show you step by step how to draw an easy sailboat. Again, you can change your sailboat and you know make it of course different. So I'm going to show you step by step and I'm going to actually use a Sharpie. But remember that you could use anything you want for, um, you know, if you wanted to, if you prefer to use pencil and eraser, please do that. So I'm going to start with a straight line. I want to give myself a lot of room up there for the cell. Don't make it too big. So it's a straight line like this. And then this is the bottom part of my ship. I'm sorry, my sailboat. And again, you can make it your own by make it, making it different. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. And here's the mast that will hold the sails. Then I'm gonna do a straight line here for one of my sails. And then it goes back here. And here is a curve. And then on the other side, we have another sail as well. So this line will go all the way here. And then we're gonna add another curve and another curve right here. So we now have two cells. Now we need to add, this is going to be kind of a, a string that attaches here so that the cell doesn't flop all over the place. And then if you wanted to add, you know, a little flag, you could do that. And if you wanted to add any patterns on your ship, you can also do that with stripes or patterns. Like that. And then we're going to get some watercolors to paint our ship. So here is my watercolors. And we're gonna get some water and some paintbrushes. So I have my watercolors ready here and I am using a medium brush and a small brush. And I'm gonna think about colors before I paint. So in my background, we have a lot of blues for the ocean and blues in the background and a little bit of orange. So I want something that really pops you know, to make my sailboat kind of stand out. So I'm going to decide to use for the, this part of the boat, I'm going to use a red and the sails, I might even leave them white because sometimes it's sails, sailboats have lots of, you know, white sails and it's nice to see on the horizon. So always test your colors before you start, make sure it's, if you have different shades, so this one is more of an orangey red and this one is more of a pinker red. I think I'm gonna go with, actually I could even blend them. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water and since I used a Sharpie, it is waterproof 
and I'm gonna go over first with my more orangey type red. And I'm gonna keep it really as bright and saturated as possible. So I'll go over here. And again, this is your boat, so imagine you know, what it, would it be like to have a boat and what color you would want it to be. And I'm going to take a brown for the mast. Let's check our browns. I think this is a good brown. So my mast is just right here in the middle. And then my flag. I think, you know what, I don't know why, but I still want a red. I want to be seen far, far away. What if you made a pirate ship? You could do that. Or a viking ship. So make your ship your own. I'm not sure why, but I'm thinking I would like to have a yellow. One of my cells to be yellow. So I'm going to add my yellow right here. So as an artist, you have to listen to your voice that talks to you about colors and, you know, patterns and your imagination. I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. So we're going to draw a mermaid if you're interested in having a mermaid in your um, collage. But then again, you remember we just made a boat. You could have anything else. You could have a whale, you could have a surfer, but just in case you want a mermaid, in this page you'll see the steps that I will um, take to draw. So first I'm gonna do a face, then the arms, the forearms, then the arms, and then I'm gonna add the torso and the tail. So I want my tail going this way just because I wanna see it in the drawing. But you could do it going the other way. And then we just add, you know, the details, hair, tail, uh, top. So I'm going to start. And I'm going to start with a pencil drawing. So I'm going to start with the face, which is kind of a U shape. And I'm going to make just kind of sleepy. No, actually, these are happy eyes. And then just a small pupil right here, small nose, and happy smile. Here is the neck, soft, soft shoulders. And here are your forearms. And you can do it simple so that you can erase. And I'm trying to do some, um, you know, soft kind of pencil but so that you could see I'm doing it a little bit um, darker otherwise you can't really see it so here is the thumb so keep your hands simple because we have to cut it out so we don't want to have too many details and here's again my hands are gonna be just really simple. So the bottom part is the thumb right here. And then the hand is at the top. And then just play with proportions. I think this one here might need to be a little bit changed. Here, then I go to the torso is going to be a little bit kind of swooping this way. So like that. And about here, we'll start the hips and the tail and here are here we go and here is going to be um, this part nice big tail and I'm going to add some hair so here is the hairline so it goes this way, and maybe if she has her hair parted that way. And I'm thinking that my mermaid has really beautiful, long, 
flowing hair, something like that. And you can make curls. And then I'm gonna add a top. Again, yours could be different. This is kind of just a starting point. And that's about it for my pencil drawing. Then I'm gonna add Sharpie line. Oh, you know what? I forgot something really important, my flower. So here is my flower. If I wanted to add a flower, then I'm gonna do, I'm going to go ahead and just Sharpie this drawing. And then we will add, at the end I will add a few lines, like this texture in the fence. And you could do a few lines for to give movement to your hair. So I'm done with my mermaid and I sharpied with a thin sharpie. And if you notice here, I kind of messed up, but that's okay because we are going to cut around the mermaid to incorporate it into our collage. So if you mess up around here, it's fine. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is find a color in my oil pastels, or you can use crayons too, that I like, and you can clean it up first. So I'm just going to go around here for her skin tone. And I'm gonna use a combination of oil pastels and watercolors. So my skin tone will be oil pastel, but if you have, uh, if you'd rather use watercolors, you can do that too. And then I'm gonna do, decide off on, you know, the color for her tail and the color for the hair, it's really important. So if my background is mostly blues, I'm not gonna use blues. I'm gonna choose to use maybe reds or, or um, oranges. So I'm thinking perhaps something like a red orange and then her hair could also be like a brown. So anyway, those things are really important because we need her to stand out in our background on the painting even though she's going to be kind of in the waves. So here is the skin tones. And then I'm going to move on. I'm going to use a uh, watercolor. And I'm going to try to find a pretty color. So again, test it out. I think I'm liking this color. So I'm going to add it to her tail right here. And I might be overlapping colors too so and again if I go out a little bit remember it doesn't have matter because we will be cutting it out so I can go it's kind of fun not to have to stay in the lines all the time and I think I'm going to do her top the same color And then I have to decide what would a good color for her hair. I love, you know, orange, maybe a reddish orange. Let's see, let's try out. Oh, I think that wow, that's a pretty color. I think I'm gonna try this one. I like it. So I'm gonna try that for her hair. And I see that I also have um, a beautiful flower. So, again, decisions about colors. I'm gonna go out like this. Oh, that looks pretty. And again, always think about your background. I'm gonna use my smaller brush, ballerina brush for the flower and I'm thinking that maybe a blue 
although the background is blue. Let's see how that would look. Because I want it to stand out in her hair. I think that looks really pretty. So again, ballerina brush. So we can use it in smaller sections, like the flower. Maybe I can do a, let me see, a darker blue for the center of the flower. Now in here, I can go back and maybe add some details. I'm gonna see what would happen. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue and add some, that would be kind of like scales on her tail. I think it really makes it a little bit more interesting, a little bit less flat. So I'm just gonna continue like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit on the tail as well, just like that. And maybe also, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna do some on her top. Now her hair, I could add maybe a little bit of brown so that I can see kind of the curls in her hair going so flowing. So these are kind of flowing lines. And I think I'm about done. Now I have to let it dry. So now we have a mermaid and we have a sailboat and then we have to do both of them have to dry and then you'll decide which one you want to use to put in your background now that we are done with our mermaid and boat or maybe you only did a boat or just a mermaid the next step is to cut them out keeping your black outline so just on the outside So now that I have cut out my sailboat and my mermaid, I have decided which one I want to incorporate in my painting. So for instance, if I put my boat, I'm going to kind of, you can lift your waves up a little bit and decide maybe I want my boat to be right here, right here, right here. And I have some extras so I could add them as little waves. But then I'm gonna say, well, maybe I want my mermaid. So my, let me look at mermaid right here. And I'm thinking that maybe I am gonna keep, for this one, I'm gonna keep the mermaid. I really like the way the background blends with my mermaid. So I'm gonna keep her. So what I'm gonna do is glue, put a lot of glue in the back and just kind of place her behind my waves. And again, if you have any extras, you can glue them, you know, around here. And then we're going to decide if we want to add on anything. But first I'm going to glue. So the first step is to glue either your sailboat or your mermaid. Once you've added your either your mermaid or your sailboat, you can decide if you wanted to add any other things. And I think I would like to add a big sun, you know, right here, and maybe some jumping fish. So I'm gonna draw again on, these are just uh, scraps from my mermaid, so it's still the same paper. I'm going to draw just a really big sun, and then maybe some, just some jumping fish to add to my painting. So I want you to think about any other things that you wanted to add. And first you're gonna draw them. So I'm just gonna draw them, really simple fish. Maybe this one can have more of a curve. So right now they don't look like much, but I think that once they're jumping, they'll be a little bit better looking. And don't forget there, if they have maybe fins here, 
and I'm going to sharpie them and then I'm going to color them using my oil pastels. So in this last step, I cut out my fish and I glued them to my background and then I still had some leftover paper. So I was able to add another layer of painted paper so that the fish would be kind of going in and out, in and out. And then this is up to you. What else could you add? And as an artist, you always have to know when to stop because there's so many different options. I really hope that you enjoyed doing this project and I hope that you share it with me. I'll see you later.